This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. individual pedal demos and I think that misses a huge trick and I'm guilty of this myself um, sometimes if it's a sponsored video of course mainly focused on one pedal and for me when I'm buying one pedal at a time as well it's the same sort of thing where I think uh, what does that sound like and what do people want to hear that sound like but what I think is always the case for me when I've experimented with this is that stacking more than one pedal together always yields a tone or results that are better than the sum of its parts and so in this video I'm using some fairly humble pedals the blues driver is the core of all of it and I've tried stacking a DS1 tube screamer and Marshall blues breaker with it and I think hopefully you might agree let me know what your favorite in that intro was but each of those brought more to the table than I could have with just the blues driver or any of the other pedals alone and just more interesting tones on with the video I got a question uh, a couple of days back maybe on the uh, Screaming Blues uh, video about what pedals might pair well with a blues driver and I thought that might make it a good topic for a video uh, in terms of the beauty of stacking pedals so if you put a blues driver in front of your amp this is my clean Mesa Boogie Nomad 45 with one pedal there's a range of things you can do and obviously some pedals are more versatile than others but so we're going from having like a fairly round clean to a bit more of a tubey kind of sound then we could turn the gain up
So that's one pedal. But what I thought was, what if we put in front of it a tube screamer? Ow. Got our clean. Kick on our blues driver. And now we can boost the front of our blues driver. And we could even have things without the blues driver. But I think you probably agree that the, the combination of the two there sounds better than the sum of its parts. And better than just cranking the gain on the blues driver. So that's one option. I think a tube screamer in front of a blues driver seems to me to be a nice little combination. Blues breaker. Sort of like a bit of an exciter. So blues driver. Just a blues driver. I think, again, another combination which... A combination which sounds to me better than you could get with either pedal just by itself. It's a combination that I'm not so sure about. I'm not at all confident for what might happen here. Possibly 
both of these pedals might have too much kind of character and too much drive for this to work so let's just see what happens so the S for the standard mode let's put it this way for standard And then I'm going to keep the gain on the blues driver quite low, I think, because... Okay, now... I think in all cases these are sounds that are more pleasing than either pedal by itself. A bit more kind of sag, a bit more compression maybe a bit more drive in some ways, maybe a bit more of a complex drive because you've got kind of two different clipping circuits. In all cases, I feel like this has been a bit more of an amp-like experience than just playing one with the gain dimed. <laughs> Let me know your favourite combinations of pedals, but in each of these cases, not crazy boutique pedals or anything, but combine the two of them and you get something which I think sounds better than either pedal by itself and gets a, a really nice kind of, almost kind of boutique experience from just stacking two pedals. And that is some of the things that boutique pedal builders do, I guess. I'll see you in another video soon. Cheers for now.